morning, Eagles. I'm Tyler Brum. And I'm Natalie Acapetti, and you're watching Eagle Eye News. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Finals are right around the corner, and the ILC is hosting a final exam study night on December 13th. Drop by a peer tutor's table in both the upper and lower ILC. They'll be wearing a lanyard like this so you know who they are. They can help you study for your math, science, English, history, and Spanish final exams. Theater's 24-hour play festival is today. Come on out at 7.30 p.m. in the auditorium to see a great performance. The freshman class flag competition is now open. You can design a flag and send it in to Miss Lehman or drop it off in room C239. Submissions will be accepted until January 10th and then your class will vote on which design they want displayed in the commons for all to see. Check your email for more information. No Shave November wrapped up last week. Thanks to everyone who participated and congratulations to all the winners. This week we're back with another segment of Eat, Sip, Do. Here's a little holiday inspiration for the upcoming season. This month, we're combining your eat, sip, and do all into one. The Chris Kindle Market in Chicago is the city's largest open-air Christmas festival located in Daly Plaza. Inspired by the original Chris Kindle Market in Nuremberg, Germany, the market features food and gifts from Germany along with other European countries. The festival welcomes anyone who wants to share in the experience and is a great idea for anyone in need of a little holiday spirit. Signing off for Eagle Eye News, this is Alyssa Coopers. Looks great. Now let's throw it over to Sabrina Heighton with sports. Hey Eagles, I'm Sabrina Heighton and here's what happened in sports. The girls basketball team played against Wakanda last Friday and won 47-36. Natalie Acapetti led the team with 13 points. Great job, girls. They also have a huge game tonight at home against Grays Lake Central at 7. Come out and support and wear your jerseys. The boys basketball team played Grays Lake North on Saturday. Despite the great performance, they lost 70 to 57. Their next game will be tomorrow at Grant. Good luck, boys. Congrats to the dance team on their fourth place finish at Lake Zurich on Saturday. Their next competition will be at Sunday at Glenbrook South. The wrestling team had a tournament at Niles North on Saturday and went two and two. The next meet will be tonight at Wakanda High School. Good luck, boys. That's it for this week, Eagles. Now let's send it back to the studio. Thanks, Sabrina. Today we're repping the Lakes cheer team to show them some support as they get ready for their competition this weekend. Hi, my name is Karina Miller. I'm the cheerleading coach at Lakes Community High School. This is my third year coaching the co-ed program. Cheerleading is a team-driven sport. It's unlike any other sport. If we are missing someone from a program, a stunt doesn't go. So if one person's in, three people automatically have to sit out. So every single time that we have anyone out, it's not that we can just replace them like that. My goal this year for my team and myself is to qualify for state. We want to make not just day one, but we want to make it to day two. The thing about coaching is seeing that light bulb go on of somebody landing or sticking a stunt or a tumbling pass or anything new for the first time, how excited someone gets to know that hard work pays off. We will be competing five guys for the first competition. Um, they normally, people think that guy cheerleaders are just there for strength, but our guys have all learned how to tumble. Some of those people have learned how to do a back tuck within one week of being on the program. They are serving not just as someone that is strong, but they learned every single aspect and they are valued members of our program.
Great job and good luck this weekend. To get you even more in the holiday spirit, we went around and asked you guys about your plans for break, and this is what you had to say. I'm looking forward to wrestling over break. I'm looking forward to Christmas and opening presents. Spending all this time with Ryan. I'll kiss you. I'm most excited for going on vacation. I'm looking forward to my birthday, Christmas, and New Year's. Spending time with the ladies. I'll do it. <laughs> excited for New Year's. I'm most looking forward for my boys to come home over um, holiday break. I am looking forward to spending time with my family and sleeping late. I'm excited to hang out with Natalie and bake Christmas cookies. Yeah! <laughs> For more updates, follow us on Twitter at Lakes EEN. I'm Tyler Brum. And I'm Natalie Acapetti. Thanks for watching, Eagles. And don't forget, there's no late start next Monday. Good luck on your finals, and we'll see you in January. And he's coming. <laughs> and he's coming. Rock like an earthquake. And he's coming.